there are two major types of malware. The first kind of malware needs host program. The second type of malware is independent. There are several ways for malware to embed itself into a program. Trap doors, logic bombs, children horses, viruses, and malicious browser plugins and extensions and scripts and so on. After the virus code runs, the boot sector virus should transfer the control to the original bootstrap loader so that the system can boot normally, at least appear to be the user that the system boots normally. Now, software vulnerabilities are errors or bugs in the software that can be exploited by an attacker. So the vulnerabilities that we're going to talk about come because of memory overflow. As a result of an overflow, an attacker is actually able to exploit a program by inserting new code. Here we should sort of look at this and say there is an opportunity here for the attacker. The attacker has found a way to go up and right into these locations. So this is kind of an aha moment by providing bad input. The vulnerability is we're going to know that we're not checking input. That's the vulnerability. That is what is getting exploited by the attacker.